So my research group does have a particular interest in small cell lung cancer. This represents about 15% of all lung cancers. It's a particularly aggressive form of lung cancer, very uh, quickly growing and often uh, metastatic that is spread through the body at the time of diagnosis. Uh, so it's a particularly uh, difficult cancer. It's one that has a poor prognosis and for which we really need better therapies. So about 30,000 Americans die every year of small cell lung cancer. Uh, that overall represents about 15 percent of the total burden of cancer, of lung cancer in the country. Uh, and uh, similar statistics throughout the world. And the third major piece of the pie in lung cancer overall is small cell. Um, that's the part that we have uh, probably the least detailed knowledge about the, uh, the targetable drivers. Um, but it's an area where, uh, where there have been recent studies identifying some of the genes that are clearly required to be altered uh, for tumors to become uh, cancers. Uh, for, for cells to become cancers, uh, and we're beginning to think about strategies for how to specifically target those. So one of the difficulties about small cell lung cancer in particular is that although it's very chemo-responsive, it tends to shrink very nicely with therapy, it also comes back very quickly. So that although the response rates to standard cytotoxic chemotherapy can be as high as 70 percent, uh, Almost all those patients are destined to recur, and to recur quickly. Extensive stage small cell lung cancer overall has a median survival of only about nine months from the time of diagnosis. So this is a cancer that, although it's very responsive, comes back very fast and comes back very aggressively. The thought with immunotherapy is that if one could train the immune system to effectively recognize that cancer, we might get more durable responses. The response rate might not be as high as it is with chemotherapy, but the responses that you get might be much more durable, and that would really be a tremendous benefit to patients. So our goal is to improve people's duration of survival and, and their quality of life. Ultimately, uh, these are steps toward a cure for, for these diseases.